today, me and my film crew head out onto the streets of Nashville to see what random strangers know about the element cobalt. Stay tuned and find that- Whoa, 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 who wrote the script here? Outside, guys, this was not- Oh my- Cut, 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 I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Whose idea was it to go outside? Outside, outside. Okay, change the script, you know what, you know what, we're just gonna ask you guys, okay? So, um, question one, here we go. And for our lucky people out there who guessed everything but 27, unfortunately you were wrong. Cobalt has an atomic number of 27 and an atomic mass of 59. Also, cobalt's represented with the letter CO. You might be wondering what cobalt's used for. Well, like iron, cobalt can be magnetized to make magnets. Also, it's alloyed with aluminum and nickel to make really strong magnets. Also, cobalt is used in airplane engines. What history is true about cobalt? A. George Brunt discovered cobalt. B. Cobalt was discovered in 1608. C. Miners saw this ore as good luck, or D, this was accepted by chemists instantly. The correct answer was George Brunt. George Brunt, in 1730, discovered cobalt. He found the dark blue ore from some local copper workings, and he eventually proved that it contained a unrecognized metal. The ore was cursed by miners. Miners saw this ore as unlucky because sometimes it was mistaken for silver. Then he published his results. For many years, his claims have been uncovered. A new metal was disputed by other chemists who said his new element was really a compound of iron and arsenic. But eventually, it was recognized as its own element and was given the name coal. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is Are not in Are you at this time. kidding me? Now this is why this video is going to be so late. This is going to at least take a month for it to get fixed. Oh my god. Mount. Where is the channel? A var mount. A var slash mount should have said. Ah. Uh. Well, now you think you know everything about cobalt, but I've got to tell you some physical properties. Cobalt is hard gray metal that looks much like iron and nickel, but it's also ductile, which means it can be made into wires. Also, it's malleable, which means it could be hammered into sheets. Cobalt is a moderately reactive metal. It combines slowly with oxygen and only burns if it's in powdered form. Also, it reacts with most acids, producing hydrogen gas, and it doesn't react with room temperature water. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you probably learned something about my favorite element, cobalt. If not, then shame on you. But sorry about the late video, my computer was broken for some time and I didn't get the time to edit until this weekend. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye. Oh yeah, and uh, also, shout out to the guy who uh, fixed my computer. He's a really nice guy.